The design of train wheels is genius. If we have a train track with a slight curve and we try to roll some basic wheels across it, we'll simply derail. Okay, you might say, it's an easy fix. You could just add a flange so it doesn't derail. And while the flange does keep it from derailing, it can't really navigate a turn. So how exactly can we solve the issue of a train negotiating a turn? This is an exaggerated version of train wheels. Notice how the wheels perfectly negotiate the curves and seemingly glide across the train track. And of course, you can see the wheels are shaped like cones. But what happens if we have a straight track? The wheels basically self-align. It's practically impossible for it to derail. So what's the secret of this cone shape and how does it actually work? And why is it so much better than just a basic cylindrical wheel with flanges? The cone-shaped wheels don't even need flanges. You probably noticed when the train wheels are going across the track that when it goes on turn, it kind of leans over on its side like this. So here's exactly what's happening. When the train approaches a curve, the wheels want to continue going straight. You can see we're on the small portion of this wheel and the big portion of this wheel. Essentially, what we have now is two different wheel diameters. Because the right wheel is smaller than the left wheel, it turns to the right. If the right wheel is bigger than the left wheel, it'll turn to the left. It makes a lot of intuitive sense when we place it on the train track. So how is it able to change directions? Well, after we finish the right hand turn, we flatten off and go to this straight portion here. And as it continues to roll straight, you'll notice now the left side has the smaller diameter and the right side has a bigger diameter. It has no other choice but to turn left. So what makes this design so genius is the fact that when the wheels want to go straight, one wheel becomes a larger wheel and one wheel becomes a smaller wheel, forcing the wheels to automatically turn. It's just one of those really clever designs that just works. So good in fact that we're still using it today hundreds of years later. This video was sponsored by Micro Center, and I would say they're the best computer store in the US. Micro Center is a all around great computer and electronics store. You can buy Apple products or you could build your own custom PC. You can get all types of computer accessories and electronics. Also, it's one of the very few places where you could buy 3D printers and 3D printer filament in person. They have a great selection between high end 3D printers and great budget 3D printers. If you don't have a Micro Center near you, you could shop online at microcenter.com.